Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at sequences, which is roughly about GCSE Grade 4. Please do download the worksheet from the website and have a go at each of the questions. Okay, so the first question is fairly straightforward. It's aimed at roughly about Grade 4 for this type of level. And it says write down the next two terms in the sequence. Well, you've got 7, 13... 1925 and hopefully from that you can see that what we're doing is we are adding six each time so the next two terms in the sequence are going to be 31 which is going to be plus six and also 37 which is also going to be plus six so those are the next two terms and part b of it explain how you know will be that we are adding six each time okay so fairly straightforward for the first type of question. Okay, so sequences could be as simple as something like a times table, but also we talk a little bit more in the um, in GCSE curriculum about something called the nth term. And we're gonna be getting to those sort of questions in a couple of minutes. Let's have a look at question number two. Okay, so question number two, we've got this introduction of this nth term idea, which is the sequence and how that sequence is described. And it says find the first two terms in the sequence so what we do is we say, OK, well, the first term is going to be where we put the number in place of the n. So that's going to be 4 times 1 plus 4, which is going to be 8. And that would be the first term. The second term is where we put the number 2 in place of the n. And that's therefore going to be 12. OK, and that's very common. So when you get these sort of questions, all we're talking about is substituting the n for the number of the actual term or the place. OK, let's have a look then at part B. So part B, it says, is 32 a term? Well, in order for it to be a term, it would have to have an actual place. So in other words, we've got to say 4n plus 4 equals 32. Now, if n is a whole number, which it is, then it must have a place because n in this particular um, uh, sequence is going to be the seventh place. So the answer is yes, 32 is the seventh term and that would be the answer to that particular question. OK, hopefully that's OK for you. Let's move on then to question number three. Please do stop the video. Have a go at each of these questions. OK, so question number three, it says the nth term. And this time we've got something called a quadratic sequence because it's n squared. But we're going to do exactly the same as we did with the previous question where we just plug the number directly in. We said we want to know the first term. We just put it straight in. So the first term in this this particular case is going to be where we've got n um, squared plus 5. So rather than writing n, I'm actually going to write that as 1 squared plus 5. So the first term is going to be 6. OK, the second term. Well, again, I'm going to use exactly the same idea. That's going to equal 2 squared plus plus five, and that's going to be nine. And then the final one, which is the third term, is going to be three squared plus five, and that's going to be 14. OK, so hopefully that's OK for you, but we can use exactly the same principle to answer part B, where it's asking for the 12th term of the sequence. All we're going to do is put the 12 in place of the letter N. OK, so the 12th place is going to be B. This is A and B is going to be um, 12 squared plus 5, which is going to equal 149. And that would be the answer to that particular question. OK, let's move on then to question number four. OK, so in question number four, we've got uh, the first five terms of the sequence. And what we're going to do is find the first negative term in the sequence. Well, it should be fairly straightforward because all we can do is we can actually write it all out. So we write it out as, well, we've got... Um, 32, um, 26, 20, 14 and 8. Now, each of those we're reducing by 6 each time. OK, so the next one, if we reduce it by 6, is going to be 2. 
And then the next one after that, if we reduce it by a further six as minus six, is going to be minus four. So the first negative term would be minus four. OK, and then we've got to find out whether minus 30 is a term in the sequence. Well, probably the easiest thing, because we've already started, just carry on and see if we get to minus 30. So we'll have a go at that. OK, so from here, I'm going to have, uh, if I start from minus four, this is B. We're going to have minus four and then I'm going to take another six away. It's going to be minus 10 and then minus 16 and then minus 22 minus 28 and minus 34. So the answer then with this is that if we're reducing the sequence by minus six each time, the answer is no. It actually skips between minus 28 and minus 34. And sometimes with these sorts of questions, you need to just show the sequence. OK, let's move on to the final two questions in this particular worksheet. Don't forget to download them or stop the video. Have a go at this particular question. OK, so question number five. We've got now the first five terms. And in this particular case, we're being asked to find the nth term of the sequence. Now, you can visit my website and you can have a look at how to do this. But basically what we can see here is that we've got a difference. These are called common differences of plus two each number in this particular question. OK, or this particular sequence. So therefore, the common difference is two. We write that as two N. And then we have something called the zero term. Now, the zero term is two below which is going to be 3, so it's 2n plus 3, and that's the answer to the question. All you need to know is two things. You need to know the common difference, which in this case is 2, and also the zero term, which in this particular case is plus 3. We can apply that with the last question as well, and any other arithmetic or common difference sequence. Please do visit 3minutemaths.co.uk. That will give you some more worksheets and some more ideas with these sorts of questions. OK, so the very final question on this particular video is going to, we're going to use exactly the same same principle. First five terms are that. Find an expression. So basically we've got 0, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6, minus 8. In each case what we're doing is we're minusing 2. OK, so we can write that as minus 2n. That's the first bit. And then as I mentioned before, we've got the zero term, which in this particular case is positive 2 because we minus 2 to get to zero. So it's going to be minus 2n plus 2, or we can write that as 2 minus 2n. It doesn't matter which way around we have it, but basically that's the nth term for that particular sequence. OK, hope this video has been useful. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. Look forward to seeing you inside the next video.